Hello everyone and uh, welcome to this channel and uh, we are starting this Bible Crash Course uh, for the benefit of whoever wanted to listen to it and uh, this is actually uh, taken from uh, some resources and uh, compiled here so that we will be able to uh, present this to you. Uh, this is uh, designed for new believers, but also it can be very beneficial for people who would like to know uh, what is the Bible all about, or what did the scripture say about Christianity, or what is our belief, how and why we believe in this uh, thing. So you may know what and why you believe. Okay? So, uh, before we will uh, start our uh, lecture or this uh, little presentation, a short one, we'll start with a prayer. Our precious and heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for uh, giving me this time to listen to this word, listen to this uh, lesson, O oh Lord. Uh, this might be useful for my knowledge, O oh Lord, and uh, we are praying, Lord, that you give us uh, knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So that whatever is being said to the hero of God uh, will be clear, will be useful, and will be uh, will guide us, O Lord, in our study of the Scripture and in our study of our why and how we, why we believe uh, in You, O Lord. This we pray in Jesus' name, Amen. So, first of all, we will start with how do we study. The scripture. So basically, if you go to Bible school, if you will learn theology, uh, you need to have a grasp of the scripture. Even if a very small knowledge of it, but at least you have some grasp of what you believe and why you believe it. So in Bible school, in seminary, in theological studies, uh, you might encounter uh, different terminologies, a very deep study of this and that. So, we will not divulge in that uh, area, but this is just to show us it's an overview of uh, the basic things, doctrines, why we believe in such and such. Okay? So, in any study, before we begin, we need to have a Bible. So, the Bible is very essential to this because this is the very thing that we are studying. So, the very thing that we are uh, reading, this, are, this is our source. The, our reading material, our source material. Of course, we will have to refer to other resources. Okay, in conjunction to our main reading, which is the Bible. So, there are uh, plenty of uh, versions, there are plenty of uh, translations. Uh, usually, we use the King James Version. Uh, as always, I always emphasize it that uh, in our churches, we use the King James Version, not because that we are uh, dogmatic or doctrinal about it, but this is for uniformity. By the way, the King James Version was written so that it was to be spoken. If you speak out the verses of the King James Version, you will now listen to the grandeur of the composition of the King James Version. So it is very good to be spoken, especially when uh, in, in, respon in responsorial uh, readings and so on in a uh, in a congregational reading, this is very beautiful. Uh, of course, if you want to understand the scripture, because the King James version is written in the early modern English, and so it has some uh, characteristic of the Middle English, and so uh, it could be difficult for non-native speakers of the English language. So sometimes we refer to other translations like the English to continue 
here are some uh, free online resources of uh, this Bible. For example, the crosswire.com. It's an open source Bible study software for PC, for uh, Windows operating system. And it can be downloaded here in crosswire.com. And uh, you can also download modules uh, for Bible versions. And uh, if you have some interest in non-canonical books and so on. Uh, it has also some concordances, uh, dictionaries, uh, and uh, as well as commentaries and devotionals, especially those in the public domain. And uh, to use this, uh, you need some computer skills, okay, because there are uh, some intricate uh, actions that you need to do so that you can uh, install the modules and so on. So this is the website of that um, source. You can also uh, include or install in your uh, cell phones, especially Android phones, the w, in www.mysore.info. Okay, this is an open source Bible study app for Android. Also, there are uh, Bible versions, non-canonical books, concordance, dictionaries, Bible commentaries, and devotionals in the public domain, and uh, needs also some uh, skills uh, in the mobile phone taking care of. So this is the website for that and of course the most uh, used or most commonly used uh, app uh, for Google uh, for Android in Google Play and of course for I iPhone and iPad for iOS in Apple Store you have your U version uh, it also have some uh, it also is available online and of course, there are some Bible versions in many languages. Uh, what is good here is the reading plans for uh, reading the Bible, especially if you want to read the Bible every day. Okay? So, it also has some commentaries, but uh, this is an ecumenical uh, version, uh, resource of the uh, scripture. So, this is the online website for that uh, resource and we have this Bible study tools www.biblestudytools.com okay so this is a very good uh, source uh, for versions of the Bible you can uh, actually uh, put a tab bookmark and so on there are also commentaries as well as articles and uh, some sermon outlines in this uh, site. So, this is the online site. In fact, uh, there is a plus uh, version of this uh, which is also paid so that you will get other uh, resources or uh, expanded resources for this uh, website. So, importantly, you have to get a printed Bible. That is very essential for this study. You may uh, have the digital one. You can get it in your cell phone, in your iPad, in your computer. But, of course, you need to have this printed one. Uh, this is very essential because uh, you will have to highlight, you have to insert, you have to bookmark the scripture and uh, sometimes uh, you you have to read it in the printed material okay so there are plenty of uh, versions and translations but we only need the king james version for uniformity but if you want to have a better understanding you can also refer to other translations okay Next, we will uh, be talking about salvation, assurance, church membership, baptism, the Bible, prayer, daily devotions, separation of sin, the leadership of Christ, proper behavior of Christians, evangelism, Christian growth, and nourishing from 
sermons. This will be the whole uh, topic or all of the topics that we will be uh, studying uh, as of this uh, uh, series of lectures. So, next we will be talking about salvation and uh, that will be the next video for this series. And uh, that's all for now. Thank you and see you next lesson.